Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I had mentioned in my last video that I was going to be filming a newborn essentials video. I believe, if I didn't mention it in my last video, I certainly did mention it on my Instagram for those of you that follow me. Um, I did film the video when I said I was going to. I just made it super long and I wanted to do it again and try to get it um, a more condensed version. So if I talk about products uh, kind of fast, that's why. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below um, and I'll be sure to answer any question that you may have. As a little disclaimer, um, really um, the only newborn essential that you need is your newborn, a caretaker, you know, something to catch their poop in and something to let them sleep in and boobs. Oh, and formula, you know. But um, there's a lot of products out there nowadays that really help um, us moms and dads um, get by the newborn phase a little bit easier. A lot of products that um, just make it a little more, you know, simple to live life with this new little addition that you have to your family. So I'm going to be talking about a, a few products that really um, I got a lot of use out of and that were really essential for me and baby throughout the newborn phase. Um, I want to say from zero to three months, some products I still use now and I'll mention which those are. But um, I really thought hard and um, I compiled a list of things that I think that I could not have done without. And then in the end of the video, I'll show you guys a couple of things that I could have done without but really, really helped us out. So without further ado, let's talk about stuff because I'm already talking too much. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this right here. The first thing I want to talk about is these cloth diapering um, inserts. Um, so burp cloths is what I use this for. As you can see, it's just a long, white, you know, stretchy um, fabric, which I used as a burp cloth um, for baby. I wasn't really into getting those um, like cute burp cloths with little designs on them because I knew that I was going to be using this a lot to pick up spit up and to sometimes pee poop. So I didn't want to get something that uh, would have a design that would fade away. Um, so these are pretty cheap. You can get them for I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think six for like twelve dollars. I'm not sure. The brand is Gerber, um, and I believe they're they're called the Bird's Eye uh, Gerber cloth diapering inserts. I use these not just for um, as a burp cloth, but also to put on people to create a layer, a barrier between baby and whoever was holding him. I also used these a lot when I was pumping to put under my breast to catch any milk that could leak through the, the breast pump. And I also used these, um, you know, for drying his dishes. Uh, because I didn't like to use paper towels because I felt like paper towels left like a lot of um, like little lit pieces behind. So whenever I would be drying my breast pump parts or like his bottle pieces and things, I'd use a clean one of these. Oh, and I also used it for when I was done doing all of his dishes, just like covering it up so no dust would fall in it. So it really does have a lot of uses. They're inexpensive and you could use them for a very long time. The next product that I want to talk about are these Gerber, which you can get whatever brand, but just in essence, white onesies. I got these in every single size. We're now using 12 months because he's, um, he's 10 months. So I got these in every size that they make them as he grew out of them. And I use these under every single outfit that he would wear to go to bed. So what, no matter what pajama he was wearing, whether it be a gown, a zip up, anything, I would use one of these under. They're very lightweight and it just creates another, um, you know, level of clothing to keep them cozy since, you know, you shouldn't really leave blankets in their sleeping area. Next, for the first, I would say, month of his life, Lucas didn't really use much clothing. Um, I just kept him in these. I had like eight of these. These are sleeping gowns. And these already come with a pre-fold um, mitten so that you don't need to worry about adding an additional piece of clothing to your baby. So that's really convenient. I really like these because in the middle of the night when they're newborn is when you're mostly changing their diaper like every two to three hours. Um, you could just roll this right up and change the diaper. You don't need to take off pants. You don't need to get their little feet out of a, a zip up onesie, which if you're a mom or you're going to be a mom, you will know that um, when they're first born, they're very uh, tensed up. So it's very difficult to get those little tiny feet that you feel that you're going to like snap off out of a zip up onesie. That's just my personal opinion. So this was the bomb for us. And when he grew out of these as um, a full body type, what it's supposed to be we use them as just long sleeve shirts for going to bed so it's 
you know, you don't have to stop using it once your baby grows out of it um, lengthwise. Another thing in the realm of clothing is sleeping sacks. So it's just this, right now this one's pretty big because this is the, the one that goes all the way up to 24 pounds. I love these. These are from the brand Halo, but I know other brands do make them. I just, I've always bought the Halo ones and I have a ton of these um, in different sizes. Um, it's literally just, it looks like a little, you know, short sleeve shirt. You know, their hands go in here, their neck goes here, and it has a zipper. Um, oh, it's down here. So in the middle of the night, when you need to change your diaper, you unzip from the bottom and just get their feet out and you don't have to unclothe baby completely. So that's very convenient because again, when they're first born, you're going to be changing your diaper in the middle of the night, what seems like a thousand times. You know, eventually they grow out of that phase, but when they're in it, it's very difficult um, to change your diaper without waking them up if you need to be taking so many layers of clothing off of them. Um, these are, I believe, you know, a lifesaver because um, you shouldn't leave blankets in the crib or bassinet when you're not watching your baby because, you know, SIDS. Dun, 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 dun. You know, everybody knows about SIDS. That was really weird. I shouldn't have done that, but whatever. Um, when they're newborn, they have a lot of reflexes, so a lot of sounds scare them. Even if, you know, if there's no sounds, they have a lot of, like, robotic gestures that if you have a blanket over their arms and they, you know, do one of those movements, they can easily have a blanket cover their face and, you know, something terrible could happen. Um, so these are just really, really good so that you can sleep, you know, soundly knowing that your baby is not cold. Um, it's also a material that is not very heavy so you don't, so they don't overheat because you don't want to have your baby be cold or too hot. So I think this is the perfect in between. This right now is just like the simple one. They make for newborn babies, they make the ones that have the two straps that go like this so that if your baby likes to be swaddled, you could swaddle them, you know, this way or from up here. Um, so that's really good. We had a bunch of the cloth ones, cloth, cotton ones, and um, we also had muslin material like one so that when we felt that it wasn't you know too cold that we would use those um, i feel like i'm just like rambling about this so moving on i have this um changing pad liner so this is kind of like a soft cottony material in the front and then in the back it's like a baggy material which is what makes it super absorbent i have um i believe i had like eight of these and i use them not only to put on the changing pad so that the cover would not get dirty but i use them in my diaper bag so if i was out and about i put this over the portable changing pad that the di that bi diaper bags usually come with um i put that over it or if i was changing them on a couch or in a bed um in anybody's house or my own I would put this to create a barrier between baby and whatever surface you're gonna be changing them on these are awesome um, and honestly um, I mine are not really stained I wash them pretty frequently um, but I feel like the material is, is very good in that even if it gets super super dirty with poop or pee when if you wash it right away it really just gets like new so I love these they are very inexpensive um, we got the boppy ones there's other brands, but Bobby, yeah. There's other brands, but really, it. I feel like every brand um, would be the same. So, too much, too much on that one thing. One other one of my super absolute newborn favorites. I wouldn't say essentials, but favorite, favorite, favorite product was my baby wearing sling carrier. We had the Baby Bjorn, Baby Bjorn, I can't pronounce that, but we had that one and I felt, I didn't feel comfortable using him in that one as a newborn. I did later on in life, but um, as a newborn, I love this. This is my Soli, Soli baby wrap. I can't really, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is the label. These are a little bit on the pricier side. I believe this ran me up about like $60. Um, but um, these, this is the best. This is a really, really long, long fabric and it has, has like a little pocket so you could like hang your phone or something. I don't know. But these, these are awesome. It, it all really just depends if you want a baby wear or not. For me, this was an essential because I definitely did want a baby wear. And for the first like three months of life, he was in this so much. I would just take off all of his clothes and wear something that uh, revealed a lot of skin for myself. So we could do skin to skin and I could still like move around the house and get things done and eat and things like that. But 
Um, if you guys want to see a video on how to put this on, I can definitely make one. Or if like, who am I? I don't care about you, girl. Who do you think you are? Uh, if you don't want to see me doing it, the, the makers of the wrap actually have a YouTube channel in which they have really quick and easy to follow videos on how to use this for forward facing, um, for facing you, just every type of facing. Um, again, this is awesome. I loved it. He was in it a lot. I would say after he was like four months, I didn't really feel comfortable having him in this wrap. And that's when I started using the baby Bjorn because once he got a little heavy, I didn't trust the fabric enough to just leave him in there without holding him anyways. What the point of baby wearing is to wear the baby. Well, not the point, but one of the benefits to baby wearing is that you can put him in whatever carrier you want and then he'll be hands free. Once he got to the point where I didn't, feel com confident enough to have been blah, to have him hands free I stopped using it but that's completely up to you or completely up to you know the label in which it tells you up to how many pounds he can't be in it which is let's tell you right now 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 I'm not gonna tell you it doesn't say it doesn't say but look at it okay anyways moving on another thing that I felt was really essential uh, for us was this sucker it. This is the one from the hospital. A lot of um, grooming kits come with their own like smaller version of it but I found them to be really ineffective. This is the one that they give you at the hospital when your baby is first born. There's a brand new one packaged up in the little bassinet where they're gonna put your baby after he's born and then you get to keep it. I used mine for like six months and then my friend recently had a baby in the same hospital as I did so I asked her to pick one up for me and she was kind enough to do that so I love this. Let me check my list. Where's the pen? Where's the people? There's a bunch of people walking around looking at me like I'm nuts and the security guard drove by twice, I guess. What does it look like I'm filming? Some sort of hostage video? Like, calm down. Jesus. Okay. There's so many people around and it's so awkward. I'm trying to push through and just pretend it doesn't bother me, but it's really awkward. Can we just like go inside? Like, why are they out here? Go inside. You know what? I'm just gonna live my life and forget about everybody else. One of the products that I want to talk about is a car seat cover, which I actually gifted down to my friend who just had a baby, so I don't have it with me. But I had a really simple car seat cover. It was um, black and white with like it was black and white stripes, and it's just like a really thin. Um, it look, kind of looks like a poncho, if you know what a poncho is, but um, it's just this really thin material that you put over your infant car seat, and I love using that um, when he was first born because when you first go to the pediatrician after your hospital stay with your baby for the first time it's really nerve-wracking in that you're taking him into an office where there's potentially a lot of other sick children and germs and stuff so I felt really relieved to be able to have that and cover him up and create his own little environment in which he was kind of away from germs um, I guess you could say but I used that for so long, up until he was literally kicking at it, that he was big enough that he did not want to be in it anymore. So I think we used it up until he was like four or five months. And they can be either really inexpensive or really um, expensive, depending on which website you use uh, to get yours. But So another thing I want to talk about is a diaper caddy. I have mine upstairs. We still use ours to this day. Um, basically in the diaper caddy, um, it's evolved so much since he's been born. I've used it to carry my breast pump parts, I've used it to carry diapers, I've used it to carry toys um, or little things that he uses. Um, I basically use the diaper caddy for whatever it is that I need it for at that moment. Most of the time that we've been using it though, we you know, have used different diapers, wipes, lotions, diaper rash ointment, teethers and things like that. I have mine right now under um, my nightstand in which I have his diapers, lotions, you know, colognes, all of his essential oils, everything that we use um, pretty much for diaper changing and for after bath time. So those are, you I mean, you can get like a super expensive one for like $50, but really mine, I believe mine was like $24 at Bye Bye Baby. You don't need to spend a lot of money on a diaper caddy, just make sure you get one that's sturdy and big enough to fit everything that you want. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, swaddle blankets. We, I don't, I have a bunch of them, they're all upstairs though, but um, basically the brand that we use is Aiden. 
the Aiden and Anais, I believe that's how you would call it. Um, these blankets can be anywhere from a four pack to like 24, 25 to 30 dollars, or like a two pack for 50. It depends on what print you get. All the prints that we have are the ones that are the four blankets for the 25 to 30 dollar range. Um, and I got a bunch, a bunch, I have like 16 or, or 20 of those blankets. And uh, my baby did not like to be swaddled, but we used it for so many different things. Like I used it as a nursing cover. Um, well, that's a whole nother topic, but I don't use nursing covers. But if I ever did need a nursing cover, the actual product that I got for nursing cover, I hated. So I used my Aiden and a nice blanket. You can use them as swaddle blankets. You can use them as nursing covers. You can use them as burp cloths. You can use them as car seat covers. You can use them um, as you know to lay down to create a barrier between surface and baby um they're very lightweight and they're very breathable so if you're using them as a nursing cover they're much better than the actual products that they sell you for nursing covers um because your baby's not going to suffocate and you're not going to sweat to death and um for a car seat cover you just tie two knots on you know you tie two knots on top of the little handle that comes with the car seat cover and then you just bring it down so it's a great car seat cover it's breathable they come in a bunch of cute and fun prints um, again you can either get them really expensive or inexpensive um, and you don't have to get that many I got a lot because I went nuts thinking that I would need a bunch of them but really I think with a good like six or eight of them you're pretty much set another thing that we found a lot of use for was a sound machine now if you are on a really tight budget you really could just use your phone and YouTube like whatever sound your baby likes you know white noise ocean sounds they even have the baby shusher if you know what that is you can put baby shusher on YouTube and it'll literally give you like four hours of shh and Lucas loves that um, but anyway if you want to get a sound machine, I think it's a really good investment. Um, or you could just use your phone again. But we have the Skip Hop Owl. Now, I do know that that product was recalled, but for us, it has never really given us any issue. And um, I only use it when I'm in the room with him. So if ever there was a situation, I'll be right there. Um, but the Skip Hop Owl that we have, I do think it's a little bit on the pricier side. They do sell like portable ones that run on batteries that are like $12. So really don't go crazy buying a super expensive sound machine. Just get one that has sounds that you know that you like and that not only that your baby likes but that you like because you're going to have to listen to that all night too. So um, a sounds that you like and that are that are durable. So we love our Skip Hop Owl. Enough said about that. Um, another thing, uh, the, we have the Fisher Price Rock and Play, which he actually doesn't even fit into anymore. So, um, I'm really sad because he loves that thing. It, it's a really inexpensive. I think it runs on about like sixty or eighty dollars. I'm not a hundred percent sure. They do have like the deluxe ones with like um, covers and like toys and stuff, but you don't need. Just get the simplest one. All you really need is somewhere to put your baby where it's gonna rock him. Like help soothing him when you have to do things shower eat busy whatever laundry whatever it is but it's on the less expensive side of other swings like the four moms like the four moms runs like four hundred dollars so compared to that it's a really inexpensive product and lucas i don't remember what what stage it was in but there was two weeks of his life after he was newborn where he would sleep nowhere but that fish and fisher price fisher price rock and play um, which had me freaking out because I know that the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends like literally bassinet, pack and play, or crib. You know, flat, firm surface. But girl, when you gotta sleep, you gotta sleep. And my kid only wanted to sleep in that thing, so that's where he slept. Whatever. Moving on. Um, socks. We... Socks is kind of like a newborn essential slash products I regret buying in the sense that if you don't get the right sock, you will regret buying socks. We had a lot of different types of socks and none of them, none of them worked with his legs, feet, as well as the plain Gerber socks. They're literally just a white plain sock. They never slipped off of his feet. We used the the zero to three month size or newborn size. I can't remember, but the the very small size, like the one of the very first sizes we used up until he was six months because they're very stretchy so you can get a lot of use out of them. I already am talking for way too long like I'm really sorry I this is the second time that I filmed this video and I feel like it's gonna be just as long and if it is I'm so sorry but I'm gonna post it anyway because I'm not filming this again um, so to conclude if you guys have any questions or want me to um, give you the specific name brand price of any product that I mentioned in this video just send me a comment um, through here or if you follow me on Facebook or Instagram 
whatever way you want to ask is fine if you like this video give it a thumbs up i hope you liked it i don't want to talk a lot i'm so sorry i just want to inform people as much as i can with all the information that i have so you know anyway i hope you guys like this video and shortly I don't know when. I'm not going to say shortly. I will be posting uh, new board products I regret buying. Hopefully really soon. So look out for that. And I'll see you next time. Bye.